I'm going to be ranking the best point guards right now in NBA 2K23. My team, we have a tier list here ranking from S that goes all the way down to D tier. And we have about 35 to 40 of the best point guard cards right now in the game. And I wanted to, I wanted to get you guys an updated point guard tier list just because there's been so many new point guards being added to the game. A lot of great ones as well. So I'll be ranking all these point guards from S tier down to D. So the first card here is going to be the playoff Devin Booker. You know, with the two Evos, I would say he's probably going to be somewhere in that b tier category he's a six foot six point guard six foot six wingspan but we know he's going to have you know really good hall of fame badges he's pretty much an invincible Devin booker card because he's already got such a good jump shot he's got great dribble six like if they were to drop invincible Devin booker he really wouldn't be that much better than this version so he's a really good point guard i do think he probably is still going to be in that b tier category hero ben simmons I think you got to put him in S tier. He's six foot eleven at point guard, still the best point guard defender in my team. Six foot eleven at point guard, seven foot wingspan. He's got one of the best player models for a point guard as well. And then he's gonna be so elite at going to the basket with a ninety five or ninety eight driving dunk, ninety standing dunk, ninety seven speed, ninety seven acceleration. And yeah, he's just one of the best point guards in the game. I think he's got to be an S tier. I like to do my top five to seven cards at that position for the S tier category. So like I said. I think Ben probably going to be in that top five to seven range. So he's obviously got to be in the S tier category. Gilbert Arenas, I'm going to go C tier. I really do like Gilbert. He's just a little bit undersized, but he's really good offensively and has an elite level jump shot. Invincible Kobe, I'm actually super high on this card. I know a lot of people are going to disagree with this. I'm going to go Kobe in S tier. I'm not saying he's the best point guard. I'm not saying he's a top three point guard. I'm not even saying he's a top five point guard. I do think he's probably in that six or seven range. And on this type of tier list where I do have a lot of cards, I like to have about six, seven in that S tier category. So Kobe, six foot six at point guard, six foot 11 wingspan, 99 every single stat, 55 Hall of Fame badges. He's an invincible card, so almost maxed out defensive tendencies. I actually don't mind his jump shot. I know a lot of people do hate it and find it really slow, but I think it's actually somewhat decent of a release. And then he's also got very solid triple sigs with the Kobe size up and the Curry escape. So I'm gonna put Kobe in the S tier category. Do think he's a top five to seven point guard currently in my team. I'm talking about Dark Matter, Jaw Wick. I think Jaw Wick probably got to go in that D tier spot just because he's a little bit undersized. His jump shot's decent. I mean, I could maybe put Jaw in the C tier category. I'll go Jaw somewhere in that low C tier category just because of his rim running ability and his ability to dunk the ball through contact and traffic. So I'm gonna go Jaw Wig probably in that C tier category. Uh, Cade, I think you probably got to go B just because he's six foot eight at the point guard spot, seven foot one wingspan. He still brings great size, right? He plays pretty good defense. He can drive to the basket super well, just has a really slow jump shot. But I am kind of interested to see maybe a potentially new invincible Cade in the future where he does get a new jump shot and could be a top level point guard on that Ben Simmons type of level. Now, invincible Curry is a really hard card to rank because I would take Curry over Gilbert Arenas and John Moran. So I think for now i'm gonna go curry and b tier but i definitely could see him dropping down to c he's still an invincible 99 every, 99 every single stat he plays better defense in game than his six uh, six foot three would suggest he's really good at getting to the basket he always gets crazy good dunk packages and he finishes at the rim super well i'm gonna go curry and b tier but once again i could definitely see him dropping down to c dame i'm gonna probably have to go dame in like C or D. I'm gonna go Damon C tier for now, kind of on the same level as John Morant. MJ, I think is pretty much identically Kobe. I think MJ is just slightly better than Kobe. I think he's got a better jump shot, better dribble sigs, and that's pretty much it. They're very similar cards. I just think MJ is a slight advantage when it comes to the jump shot and the slight advantage when it comes to the dribble sigs. Pretty much the exact same card. I think MJ Invincible and Kobe Invincible gotta be in that S tier category. Donovan Mitchell though, gonna be our first D tier point guard. As much as I do like D Mitch cards in my team, He's only six foot one. Yes, he does have a six foot ten wingspan, and he can be very fun to use offensively because he's still got really good dribble sticks. He's got a great jump shot. He's just way too undersized for this time of the year. Draymond Green, am I crazy to put Draymond in A tier? I think Draymond's super good at point guard. I would personally take Dre over Devin Booker, over Cade and Steph Curry. So might seem a little bit crazy, but I'm gonna go Draymond in that A tier category. Luka Doncic, 
feel like he's probably also got to be an A tier. One of the best point guards in my team, especially on offense. Six foot seven at the one, six foot eight wingspan. He's got that KPJ base, but with the Oscar, or sorry, he's got the KPJ base with the Rudy Gay upper. One of the best jump shots in the game on very quick timing. He's got the tray fade, tray sigs. He's got quick drops off one. He's got front clutches. So if you guys know how to move offensively, and you guys are really good, you know, at three hunting, I think Luca got to be in the A tier category. Very interested to see what this card looks like if he does get an invincible and he can have like those max out Hall of Fame defensive badges. But for now, for his interdimensional version, got to put Luca in that A tier category. Gary Payton, I would say another C tier card. Jalen Green, probably also going to be in C tier. James Harden, I'm going to go B. I really do like James Harden offensively. I still think he's got a super fast jump shot, very easy to green with. And Gary Payton, if Gary Payton was like six foot six or six foot seven, I would even debate putting him in A tier. He's that good. He's just a little bit undersized and doesn't have the best player model. I'm going to go probably uh, Gary Payton though in that C tier category. Hito Turkoglu, I feel like he's another easy A tier choice. Not quite a top five to seven point guard. I think he's kind of on that cusp around the same range as like a Draymond Green, a Luka Doncic. He's six foot 10 at point guard, six foot 11 wingspan. We know he's still got that super fast release with the John Stockton base, the Trey Young upper on very quick timing, and also some solid dribble sigs. Yeah, I think Hito Turkoglu probably got to be in that A tier category. Jimmy Butler, I'm gonna go high B tier. I do think he's really good at the point guard position on defense. He could sh he can shoot the ball pretty well. He can drive to the basket. He's just a good all around point guard. Lamelo Ball think he's also got to be in the S tier category. I would say he's probably a little bit better than MJ and Kobe, unless you're strictly looking for a rim running point guard. I would say MJ and Kobe definitely better getting to the basket and finishing at the rim. But Lamelo does have a way better jump shot. And dribble six wise, I think Lamelo doesn't even move the best. So you could make an argument for MJ or Kobe being over Lamelo. I think they're all going to be in the S tier category. John Stockton got to join Donovan Mitchell in that D tier category. I mean, yeah, just six foot one, another six foot one point guard going to have to be in D tier. Hero Jokic, easy S tier category. Don't think there's really too big of a debate when it comes to Jokic. I mean, he's one of the best point guards in my team. If not the best point guard, he's basically Ben Simmons with a jump shot and just super elite being six foot, a uh, six foot 11 with a seven foot, uh, seven foot three wingspan. And of course, at that point guard position. Now talking about J.R. Smith. I think he's right on the cusp of A tier. Do I go JR and A or do I go B? I'm going to go high B tier for now. I just wish he had a better jump shot because he's got really good dribble sigs. He's really good offensively. Great at getting to the basket. I'm just not the biggest fan of his jump shot. Drew Holiday, I'm probably going to go C tier. I just don't like his release. I think he's a, another version of Gary Payton, but I would actually take Gary Payton over Drew Holiday because I think GP's got the better jump shot, probably also better dribble sigs. KPJ, I'm going to go same tier as Harden. They're both great offensive point guards. Maybe not the best defensively, not the tallest in the world, but I still think they give you great offense and have some of the best jump shots in the game for the point guard position. Uh, looking at Lance Stevenson, once again, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with this. I would go Lance Stevenson in A tier. I think he's on the same level as a Draymond Green. I do think he's kind of up there with Hito Turkoglu. Maybe not to Luka. I think Luka's probably on a different level compared to Lance, but I would take Lance over every single point guard in the B tier category. I'm just really high on this card. Plays good defense. He's really well-rounded and has a great jump shot, in my opinion. Larry Hughes. I'm going to go another B tier guy. I think Larry Hughes is very solid. Jeremy Lin. I'm going to probably go in C tier. Another decent offensive point guard, just going to be a little bit undersized and not that great of a defender. Magic is the interesting one. Do I go Magic in the S tier category? I just think for now, I'm probably going to go A tier, but I definitely... No, I think Magic's got to be an S. I think you got to put Magic in that S tier category. Manu Ginobili, I will put in uh, A tier. I do like Manu's jump shot and dribble sigs more than J.R. Smith. And I think Manu is a really, really underrated point guard. Like, I know he doesn't have the best player model and he's only six foot six at point guard. But this man's got such a good release with the Karis LeVert base, the Rudy Gay upper on very quick timing. He's got the best dribble sigs in the game with the Steve Francis size up. The Trey escape, Trey behind the back. He's got quick drops off one and he does have front club clutches and some solid defensive tendencies for a point guard so yeah i do think mono ginobili gonna be at least in that a tier category penny hardaway i think is just a better version of Cade. he's just a little bit quicker than Cade, and the jump shots are both baited but i do think penny is definitely a better defender now talking about reggie theus he's gonna be the next point guard i'm debating if i want to go him in a tier 
I'm not sure because I do think he's got a better jump shot than Cade and Penny. So I'm gonna go Reggie probably in the A tier category. I do think he's gonna be low A tier though. Ron Artest, easy A tier option. I do think he's probably the best point guard, him and Luca for the A tier category. Really depends between Luca and Ron Artest if you're looking for point guard, if you're looking for offense in your point guard or you're looking for defense because Ron Artest is one of the best defensive point guards currently in my team. Now talking about Jalen Rose, I'm gonna go Jalen Rose in high B tier. Probably also gonna put Saryunis in B tier. I think Shea probably either high B or low A. I really do like Shea at point guard. I'm gonna go B tier though. I think he's a great offensive point guard. Tyrese Halliburton, I think has one of the worst jump shots for a point guard. Victor Oladipo, kind of like a Jalen Green jaw, John Morant type, uh, type of situation. And then Dominique Wilkins, I will put in the A tier category, mainly just because of his rim running ability and his ability to get to the basket. But yeah, guys, that's gonna be my point guard tier list. I think these are the top six point guards currently in the game. If you wanted to put like a Ron Artest or a Luka Doncic in A tier, I would or in S tier, I could definitely see that. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section down below. What do you think about my point guard tier list? And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.